Thank you for tuning in to the Wendy Inspire channel and for joining our happy BME village where everyone belongs. So no matter who you are, how you are, or what you are, you are safe here with us here in our happy BME village. my bookshelf and I'm just gonna randomly grab some books but before I get started sharing my books I just want to share a few fun facts by CBS News and CBS News had a comparison online they compared electronic books versus paper books I personally love paper books I prefer paper books but some of the benefits of an electronic book are one um, they are compact two they are um, affordable. So one thing when it comes to affordability, uh, affordability is you can get a few ebooks for the price of one book. You can probably get like 10 ebooks for the price of one paperback book. Um, compact and affordable um, because it's a lot less expensive. So those are a few of the benefits from CBS News for electronic books. A few of the benefits for paper books, which I prefer, are the retention. According to CBS News, they say that you're able to retain more information by turning the pages. You also have a greater sense of accomplishment. So when you have a regular book, let me just show you an example. When you have a regular paper book, you see how thick the book is. According to CBS News, is when you get to the middle of your book, you actually have a greater sense of accomplishment. And then also when you get to the end of the book, you have a greater mental sense of accomplishment. Because with a paper book, you're able to see how much further you have to go. Versus an ebook, where you just don't know until you get to the end. So where was I? I was talking about the paper book. So retention. Um, another benefit of the paper book is, they said that if you have like issues with vision, that the paper book is more beneficial. So those are a few of the fun, back, fun facts according to CBS News. So I'm going to share a little bit about why I think um, paper books are better. So I personally like paper books better because I like the feel of a book. I like the smell of books, I like the feel of books, and I love books so much that I told my husband I'm never going to throw a book away again. I know it sounds strange, but books are becoming obsolete. I think back when I was much younger. On the weekend, I absolutely loved hanging out in the bookstore. So we had Borders, we had Walden Books, and we had Barnes & Noble. And that was kind of my hangout. I would go out, I would have like some um, coffee, some hot chocolate, a roll, and I would spend almost my whole day reading books. And I just loved how you are opening your imagination. I love to cuddle up in a cozy chair with some tea and just enjoy the book. So me personally, I love paper books. So let me share a little bit of the books that I have on my shelf. Now these books on my shelf, these are just a few books. I have about three large boxes of books upstairs in my attic and eventually I'll, I'll, I'll unload the boxes but for now this is what I have. So the top shelf is normally my husband's shelf. So most most of the books on the top shelf are my husband's books. There are a few of my books scattered but the majority of them are my husband's books. So let's take a look at one of his books. So let's grab this one. Pink Floyd and Philosophy. So my husband is a Pink Floyd fan. I've never read this book. Um, I just know that he loves Pink Floyd. And um, let's see a little bit about this book. It says on the back, if you have some Pink Floyd on your shelf, we do, or in your iPad or just in your head, you're a thinking person. And if you're a thinking person, you're doing philosophy whether you know it or not. The book is the book is just fantastic that it really, well, hold on, that is really what I think. It will show you the connection between Floyd and philosophy. So fire up the dark side of the moon and start reading. So this is, I'm not sure what it is about. I guess it's about uh, philosophy. Um, but this is one of my husband's books. 
Um, let's see what this book is. The Book of Nothing. Now, I've never read this book, but I do remember my husband reading this book, and he was saying that basically there's no such thing of nothing, and nothing is something. So if you read this book and you have some information about The Book of Nothing by John D. Barrow, please feel free to leave a comment below. So these, are, like I said, these are mainly um, my husband's books. And you see my book, I'm Happy Being Me, and a hippie book, which I'm sure it's about being a hippie. So on the second shelf, this is mainly my shelf. Now again, the books are scattered between his and mine, but the top shelf is mainly his, and then all the rest is mine mixed with his, so mainly mine. Um, so let me grab, well as you see I have lots of holy bibles, so I have one here, one here, one here, one here, I got this one from my cousin Andrew, this is actually a study bible. Um, let me grab a book, so this, this book, The Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer, this is a really fantastic book, so this book was $13.49, I could only imagine how much this book would be if I got it electronically. And again, there's pros and cons to electronic versus paper. It's your own personal preference, but I personally dislike the smell, of, the smell and the feel of a book. So if this book is $13.49, I would imagine, don't quote me because I really don't know, but I would imagine an ebook might be four bucks. So that's one of the uh, benefits of having an electronic book, they're less expensive. So I have read through this book, I haven't read it completely, but this book is talking about, you know, some of, most of the things that we battle are in our mind and how once we're able to um, focus on a positive mindset, we'll be able to achieve a positive, out, uh, positive outcome. I also have this book um, on CD, which I absolutely love, so when I'm driving I like to listen to this. What else do I have on my bookshelf? I have Technology in Action. Now this book is really, really old. This book is when I was in college. And this book may not even be accurate, but you know what, it's a book and I like books. And it's about computers and computers are cool and that's our future, so I will keep this book forever. And this was actually one of my favorite books. This was um, another book when I was in um, college, The Art of Public Speaking. I absolutely love public speaking. My favorite class, one of my favorite classes when I was attending college was public speaking. It's my passion. I absolutely love to do it. So this is one of my books, another one of my books, which I will never, ever, ever throw away. Now there are some, there are two extra special books on my bookshelf. This book is called Love is a Gamble, Played to Win, and Two of Hearts. And this book is written by one of our Happy b and villagers. Her name is Melissa Lawson. So feel free to Google her, check her out. She is an author, she has a phenomenal business, she's active in the community. Check her out, Melissa Lawson, and she's a Happy b and villager, so 10 points for that. And let's grab this one. Well, I have so many books, so I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. So this book, um, I actually did a video on this book. This is Jump by Steve Harvey. So I'm going to leave the link below so you can check out my book review on this awesome book. This book is fantastic. It teaches us to basically take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. Chase your dreams and run as fast as you can. Don't be afraid to try different things. Don't be afraid to try new things. Um, it also shares his story. A lot of people, when they see someone um, at a level of success, they forget about how hard it, it was for them to get there. They forget about how much work, how much, how many times they cried themselves to sleep, how many times they were on their knees praying, and they just see them at the top. But in this book, it shares a lot of his challenges and how he was able to overcome his challenges and how he is now successful. So this book was very, very encouraging to me, and I think it would be encouraging to you. So don't forget to check out the link below. I'm going to leave it below. I, I did a, a, a full review on this book. And if you read this book, feel free to leave your comment below. Let's see. I'll do one more on this shelf because, as you see, I like a lot of these books on the shelf. This book is called Chasing Stars in the Sunshine by Molly Meese. 
Now, I never read this book completely, but I hold on to this book because, first of all, I love the cover. I love that it's bright and it's happy and there's a sunshine. But I actually met her. I went out to lunch with her, and she was starting her own business. She's a motivational speaker. We lost touch. It was over seven years ago, maybe even longer. But I like to just have this book because this book inspires me. Because I just remember her sharing her story and her just sharing how she's chasing her dreams. She's an author. She's a motivational speaker. She, she uh, started her own business. And I love to see people win. And I love to pe see people succeed. So I like to hold on little, little treats from them. Now we have this other shelf. So some more Bibles. Um, this Bible was from my cousin Andrew. Thank you for my gift, Andrew. This is a study Bible. I absolutely love this Bible because it breaks down scripture. It has it in... Um, terms that are easily understood and then it backs it up with scripture so this was a gift from my cousin let me see the year um 2008 so thank you andrew Let's see if i have anything highlighted in my bible oh well so i'll just read a few of my little highlights it says stay away from fools for you won't find knowledge on their lips. And I agree with that. Um, let's see what else. Let's see if I can find some more underlines or highlights. Oh, here's another one. Your responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. So this is one of my books that I read and study with. This is from my cousin Andrew. Thank you, Drew. Okay, Fly Girl. Now, I absolutely, positively love this book. Look at, look at the book. Look how old it is. Look at the discoloration of pages. And it even has like that, that book smell, which I absolutely love. So this was actually one of my first urban classic novels and this book is by Omar Tyree. Um, Omar Tyree actually endorsed my book which thank you Omar Tyree. He endorsed my book I'm Happy Being Me. I wrote this book and I reached out to Omar Tyree and I asked him to endorse my book. I sent him all the information and he thought it was awesome so he wrote I'm Happy Being Me by Wendy Massey is a bright and colorful children's book for everyone. Based on her own multicultural upbringing as a U.S. military brat, Massey paints an uplifting story about all kids accepting their individual variety and beauty. A must read in America's melting pot of culture. Thank you, Omar Tyree. All right, so this was just a really, really great read. I love, love, love this book. Um, by Omar Tyree and let me see the date of this book because it has like this old book smell and old book feel copyright 1993 the good old days I'll do a few more and then we'll close out so I have that one let me see if anything stands out over here let me check this one out Rachel Ray 365 no repeats i love cookbooks and this cookbook is really easy too easy simple good food shout out to rachel ray and just a few other books i'm going to share two more books and then we'll close out this book is one of my favorite books on my bookshelf it's called the pokey little puppy i read this book to my son when he was a baby and I can't seem to depart with this book. I can't seem to part with it. I just absolutely positively love this book. It's a great book. I read it to my son all the time. And uh, I look forward to reading it to my grandchildren. So, The Pokey Little Puppy. And probably if you bought this book now, it may not have the same, um, the same fibers in the page. It might be made out of different paper. But I'm not sure, but there's something about this special book, which I look forward to sharing with my grandchildren after my son gets married and graduates college. I look forward to that. 101 Ways to Make Today Great. I received this 
as a gift. There's a lot of little gift books on here. I received this as a gift. I don't remember who I received it from, but it was a long, long time ago, and I absolutely love this book. So I'm just going to read a few pages, and it says, Spend 10 minutes today expressing praise to God. And let's find one more. Uh, life is change. Growth is optional. Choose wisely. All right, so I just shared a few of my books. And again, I have three large boxes upstairs, which I'll eventually get to. But this is what I have so far. This is my husband's mixture. Some of my stuff is in here too, but mainly my husband and then all mine. Um, I absolutely positively love books. I love paper books over ebooks. If you love ebooks, tell me why. If you love paper books, tell me why. If you read any of the books that I have on my bookshelf, please feel free to share. Also, if you did not already subscribe, make sure you do that now. Joining our Happy Be Me Village is a safe place for everyone. Everyone belongs. Every Thursday, I have a special Thursday video. I give a shout out to one of our Happy Be Me Villagers, and we talk about something new and exciting. So. I look forward to seeing you next time, next week on Special Thursday. And thanks again for tuning in to the Wendy Inspired channel.